Welcome back. This is section 9.1.4. So this is going to be a continuation of the previous section. But let's go ahead and take a look. We will be analyzing hypothesis test in research, but we will be using the p-value method today. Okay, so step one, you will write your ho-ha, that is your h naught and h a. Always, always, always start with those. Your step two is to go ahead and find what your significance level is, which is your alpha value. Your step three is to compute the test statistic. But in this particular section, your alpha and your test statistic are given to you. Using your sliders, you will be finding the p-value. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first problem today. A civil engineer is interested in number of planning permits submitted by city annually. It is known that the average number of planning permits submitted by the city every year is 670. After studying this further, the civil engineer believes the average number of planning permits submitted by the city every year is different. Keep in mind, the word different means simply not equal to. So let's go ahead and write our H naught. You always start with your H naught. They're talking about average, right? So you start with mu. Your H naught is always equal to, what is your number? 670. What is your HA? It says mu not equal to because it's different. 670. Fair enough. And you know it's a two-tailed test because your HA is not equal to. Once you plug this in, the second set of information automatically pops up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that information. As you can see, once you plug in, you have your alpha and your test statistic. In my case, the alpha is 0.025 and the test statistic is negative 1.26. Let me go ahead and write that down. My alpha is 0.025 and my test statistic is negative 1.26. Now, my next step is to find the p-value. How do I find the p-value? I will be using my sliders. So let's go into our homework section. I'm gonna move this up. And I will start with my tailed test. I know it's a two-tailed. Moving once, moving twice, moving three times. And my test statistic is negative 1.26 and my alpha is 0.025. So my alpha, I'm going to move my alpha 1, 2, there you go, I move my alpha. And now I'm going to move my test statistic to negative 1.26. I'm going to move it negative is to the left hand side, da 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 1 point, I think I missed it. There you go, oops. There you go, negative 1.26. Again, if it does not expand, plus press control and plus button so it, you can zoom in. All right, now I have it. And as you can see, I can use two different things. You see that my test statistic does not fall in the rejection region. That's one way to look at it. But because we are using p-values, I'm going to go ahead and calculate. I'm going to go ahead and find my p-value. As you can see, it clearly says in red, my p-value is 0.2076, right on the screen, 0.2076. Let me go ahead and plug that in. My p-value is 0.2076. Once I have this, what do I do? I take my p-value and compare it to alpha. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that in a small box right here. There you go. My p-value is 0 0.2076. My alpha is 0 0.025. And as you can see, my p-value is greater than alpha. So when my p-value is greater than alpha, I fail to reject my H naught, and this is the terminology that I will be using. Okay, so let's go ahead and see which is my option. I'm moving up further. I know there has to be not enough evidence in my options. So I'm looking at all my options here. 
My p-value is 2.076, as you can see, 2.076. So definitely this is not my option because my p-value is not 2.2076 and also not this one because my p-value is not 0.2076. So the only two options I'm left with, option one and option two. So let's go ahead and take a look. What am I doing? I am failing to reject. Do you see that? I am failing to reject. And if I look closely in my options, this one says reject. That's not what I'm doing. What am I doing? I am failing to reject. So you fail to reject the null hypothesis, which is your H naught. So the civil engineer, remember you're failing to reject the null hypothesis. That means you don't have enough evidence to support your alternative. So the civil engineer does not have enough evidence to support that the average planning permits by the city every year is different than 670. So please, please, please have this verbiage right next to you when you're doing this problem. And please be mindful of what you're doing step by step. Let's go ahead and take a look at one last problem. A business owner is looking for ways to increase sales over the next year. It is known that the percent of businesses that use email marketing to help grow sales is 52%. Again, I'm going to highlight the things that I think. The business owner believes the percentage of business that use email marketing to grow sales has increased. Increased means greater, right? So I know that the average is greater than 52%, right? What is my H naught? Mu always equal to 52%. So it's very important you write your correct alternative so you can pick the right tailed test. If you pick the wrong tail, the p-value will be different. Your rejection regions will be different. So these are very, very, very important. Your H0 and HA are very important for you to make the right conclusion. Once I plug this in, my next set of information pops up. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see, once you plug in your information, your next set of information comes in. Looking at the screen, my alpha is 0 0.01 and my Z is 0.97. Let me go ahead and plug that in. My alpha is 0 0.01 and my test statistic is 0.97. So once I finish step two and step three, I have to find my p-values. How do I find my p-values? I will use the slider to find the p-values. Let's go ahead. Again, I know it's a right tail test, right? So I'm going to move it one and two to the right tail. My alpha is, what did they say? Assume alpha is 0 0.01. Point yes, it's on the right position. And what is my test statistic? 0.97. So I'm going to move my test statistic to 0.97. 96, 0.95. There you go. Oops, come on. There you go, 0 0.97. And just by looking at the diagram, I know that my test statistic is not in the rejection region. That's one way of looking at it. But here, because I'm collecting p-value, let me go ahead and see what my p-value is. My p-value is 0.166, as you can see. My p-value here is 0.166. Let me go ahead and write that down. My p-value from the slider is 0 0.166. Once I have my p-value, is that right? Did I pick the right one? Yeah, 166. Once I have my p-value, remember what I do? I simply go ahead and compare my p to alpha. So my p-value is 0 0.166. I'm going to go ahead and compare that to my alpha, which is 0 0.01. As you can clearly see, the p-value is greater, or even from the diagram, the test statistic is not in the rejection region, so I am not rejecting my null hypothesis. Again, so the p-value here is greater than alpha, 
so you fail to reject your null hypothesis so there is not enough evidence so let's go ahead and always always work with deleting the options that cannot be our answer so the p-value is 0.166 as you can see so definitely which is not my option this is not my option because that's not my p-value see that this is not my p-value see that so my only options are option three and option four and remember what terminology i'm using there is not enough evidence and what am i doing failing to reject again this says reject so this is not my option what's my only option there you go always be mindful of what you're doing so let's go ahead and read the p-value is 0.166 uh, i failed to reject the null hypothesis because i don't have enough evidence to support what the businessman said what did he say the business owner does not have sufficient evidence that the percentage of the businesses that use email marketing to help grow sales is a more than 52 percent okay always always make sure you have the right steps you have the right terminology and take it step by step because ultimately you are trying to either reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis and always keep in mind of the verbiage again if you have any questions please contact me through teams or email me good luck